black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what up? What's good with y'all? Your boy got chefy with it today on a nice, cozy, warm winter dish. We just had a filthy snowfall, another one. We just have too many. But uh, I did a bunch of snow removal today, and then I was like, I need something very winter hardy that's going to, like, test my little chef abilities. So here it is. We got a braised short rib with... Uh, the gravy made from all of that. You saw that happen. And then like a palm puree or mashed potatoes essentially, but I like them real thin puree. Uh, crispy onions, some pickled shallots, and a little parsley for decoration. So this is gonna be a pure, just enjoyable winter dish. And I'm so ready to see how this falls apart. It should just come right apart. But yeah, this is the the inner chef. Huh. It's not as tender as I was expecting. Maybe I should have went longer. It's not quite as pull apart. I did rush it a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I should have left it for 
like three hours, but instead I did two to two fifteen. But anyways, still all good. With the other ones, I might throw them back in for a little while, actually. With the leftovers. There you go. Yeah, I should have stewed it a little longer. Braised. Still incredible. Just could have used more time. <laughs> Don't get caught by your grandma eating off your knife. Mine used to smack my hand when I did that, but I find myself eating off my knife quite a bit. It just is what it is. All right, so an all encompassing bite. It's amazing. Definitely. You get uh, the pickle shallots just cuts through the richness of everything. Very fatty, salty, and then of course, crispy onions with anything like with beef. Always so good. Mm. <laughs> what a bite. So the lesson learned is my impatience got the best of me. Still completely off the bone though, you know? My inspiration for this was that I used to work at a restaurant that was Canadiana Rustica. It was the style of the food. We used to make a dish. Very, very similar to this one right here. So good when you do the the gravy, flourless like with the cornstarch slurry, kind of ends up more like a demi glaze. Which is demi amaze. So where I'm at, we just keep getting hammered with snow. And I'm so incredibly ready for all this to be over. However, I do know that the, the spring melt time is going to be so extended because our banks are so huge. We're going to have to have some seriously nice hot days to get rid of it quick. But hey, at least on days like today, we have dishes like this, right? Might have to go in on this one like this.
This one's got some serious little fattiness to it. Short rib <laughs> ain't cheap either. Very expensive cut. All right, extremely delicious. However, some lessons learned for next time. Be patient. That could have stewed for at least another hour. Then, I think it would have been more fork fall off. And perhaps I should have pre-prepped them a little bit more before the pan too. Like I should have like salted them and let them kind of set up and sit for a bit before I even started frying. All in all though, still amazing. Really no beef with that beef, but future lessons have been learned. Okay, hope y'all enjoyed it. Till the next one, you know what to do, eat good, live well. Stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching, eat good, live well, and stay true.